Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections and I'm on my deck and walk, right? Like, cause this is my year of studying astrology as it relates to tarot and that includes this deck and walk. So I am um, switching out my cards cause that's what I do every deck. Eh? And we are moving from Aries 2, which was the three of wands, which was the sun in Aries. And I'm changing these out now to the four of wands which is the Empress in Aries or Venus in Aries. And so because the Empress card is related to Venus, now we have a pair. We have our couple, the Empress and the Emperor. So I'm checking out my cards and I'm like, okay, you know, we got our Empress, we got our Emperor, we got the power couple of the Tarot. This is awesome. I'm getting to look at them all month. And then I'm thinking to myself, oh, this Empress and Emperor has never been my favorite couple. You know, like as a couple, as a couple, because the Empress and the Emperor are supposed to rule the same realm. They're supposed to rule the same stuff. You know, they're, they're like two parts of the ruling, you know, family or whatever. So I'm like, okay, they should look like they belong together. And these two do, they do. The RWS Empress and Emperor, they do look like they live in the same world, right? Like if you check them out here, you can see them. A little better because they're full size um yeah they look like they could live in the same realm that they you know maybe have were married maybe it was a marriage of convenience and they've gotten comfortable together you know <laughs> and they're like okay i'm gonna stay in my place and i'm gonna stay in my place and we know our places and we're just gonna do this we're gonna do the thing right as most marriages back then were right but i like it when the empress and the emperor or the couples of the tarot in general now this is not a make it or break it thing for me it's not something that's going to make me buy a deck or not um or enjoy the deck anymore or any well maybe a little bit more but not any less but i do like it when the couples look like a power couple when they look like they're like they belong together you know and so i started scouring through my collection <laughs> see like which decks have couples that well empress and emperor maybe i'll make another video for the other couples of the tarot for like the other kings and queens but for the empress and emperor that since i have to look at them all for 10 days i wanted to i wanted to replace the ones i wanted to replace these for this month with two that look like a power couple because i gotta stare at them on my desk while for 10 for the whole deck and so I went on a search and the perfect I, empress and emperor cards um i always think of these two cards in this deck however they're not the cards i wanted to look at all month <laughs> so um i went on a search and i kind of went through a bunch of decks now i didn't go through every deck but i went through quite a few and i just wanted to share some of them with you the ones that i found that i think are power couples or that i think you know make a kick-ass emperor emperor empress emperor couple so here we go i want to start with couples that just look good together right like when they're next to each other the empress and emperor that just looks good together and this this set here is from the what the tarot of the divine and they just look good together are they in the frame i can't even tell yeah they are um, so they just look good together, even though they're from different stories, from different worlds. Like this is a story from, I believe, Mexico, and this is a story from Europe. They just, the way that the artist did this deck, and that's with all of the cards, they just look cohesive. They look like they could be, you know, two parts of the same whole. They even both have this sort of circular motion going on behind them of course the color palette is cohesive across them and they just look nice together similarly we have this is the empress and the emperor from the unfolding path tarot also two empress and empress that just look good together they look like they could have been around the same age right um, I mean, he looks like he could be just a little bit older, but she definitely looks like a mature woman. She doesn't look young or like, you know, like she married young or whatever, and he married a baby. <laughs> like sometimes they do, right? <laughs> um, she's holding a, the, you know, this round orb and he's also holding an orb and 
it's I like the the di- this you know her hair becomes part of the earth and he has all of this you know geometry around him and so they feel like they're even wearing the same color clothing that looks like it could be have, have been made by the same person but of course one was made for a woman and one garment was made for a man right so we've got softer and more distinct lines more um you know stronger lines and so i really enjoy the 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 you know the way that they look together and how they sort of are feel like two parts of the same whole like two sides of the same coin you know now uh, my last one that i think make a perfect um power couple here and two parts of the same whole are daenerys and Jon snow now of course this is literally if you think about the the show they really are two parts of the same character right as they're going throughout the show they're two parts of the same whole and you know how uh, a character could split apart and develop differently depending on the way that they are um you know the things that they encounter along the way right and so it's a very interesting character development between these two characters um or a character study i guess i should say <laughs> and so i like i love this as a choice for the empress and emperor of course it was like it could have been um technically a an obvious choice but there's some meteor things there if you know the story um and you know that their characters and how they developed so i love i love 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 this one even though i pulled this out just to be like okay so these are the that was the real life couple right <laughs> but on the show in the terms of the show this is the power couple right here right so that is a fabulous Empress Emperor. So maybe I'll choose this one to look at all month. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we have more to come. So hold, hold your horses. So the next set of Empress Emperor power couples here <laughs> are the ones that I feel, they feel like um, two sides of the same entity or two parts of the same um, person, right? And so we have, well, and these aren't, I'm starting with animals. They're not people at all. But we have like a, this seal and this walrus where to me, you know, even though they're not the same species, species it's hard for me to say that word, <laughs> um, they do kind of ring to me similar. And so because they look so similar, they kind of feel like they could be the same person living two different parts of their lives. Um, which I also enjoy in an Empress and Emperor card because a lot of the times when I'm reading tarot, I'm reading for myself. So all of these beings or all of these people on these cards usually are talking about me, right? And so um, more often than not, and so I want, I like, I like it when cards can feel like they could all be me, but just at different parts of my life, right? And so um, here's another set in the same vein where we have, and this is, oh, I haven't said where they're from. This is from the, um, hold on. I think I said, okay. I said these were from the divine, the Tarot of the Divine. And this one and this one was from the Unfolding Path. And these two, um, if you don't know where these are from, you must be under a rock somewhere. These. <laughs> This is um, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones tarot. <laughs> now, these two are from um, the, this one, the White Sage tarot in the 10. And these coming are, what is the name of this one? Are from this one, the Meraki tarot. This is the second edition. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get the second, but I think there's a third one coming pretty soon. So this is from the Meraki Tarot. Again, two uh, parts of the same person, right? Two uh, representations of the same being, the same being. That's what it feels like to me. And then my favorite version of this and the cards that inspired this video my favorite empress and emperor all together are these these are from the antique anatomy tarot i love these depictions of the empress and emperor they are literally the favorites in my collection 
we have um, some very clever choices of bone and muscle. I love the way that, you know, even though she's a, this is um, obviously a female body, right? She's chosen a very strong bone to represent, uh, arguably, or maybe not arguably, I'm not, a, I'm not a medical professional or whatever, but this, <laughs> this is a very strong bone. That's all I can say. I think it might be the strongest bone in the body. She's chosen to represent this empress. Um, I love that. And then we have, you know, our emperor where she's chosen muscle instead of bone to represent, you know, the emperor. I, I really enjoy it, but they're both breathing the same air, you know, uh, with the same lungs. And if you really look at it, it almost looks as if these bones are the same, like maybe the same exact drawing almost just sort of flipped but then the bottom part is what has changed. Um, now I can't confirm or deny that, but it, that's what it looks like to me, to my eyes, you know? And I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah. So those are my favorite Empress and Empress. Uh, and that is what I have here. Oh, I have one more. I have one more of two that feel like they are representing two parts of the same person. And this is from, what is the name of this deck? Oh, please, let me find it. Okay, Pensive Path. This is from the Pensive Path Tarot. All right, and this little, these two little empress and emperors <laughs> and emperor, I love them. Oh my God, I love them so much. Um, this little girl looks so bothered. Like she's unbothered. She's like, it's almost as if they are, they've, I don't know. I mean, you can look at it two ways. You can look at it as if, they they're born into this and they are learning from the beginning and reared into the roles that they're playing here or you can look at it as if they've regressed into their smallest cells um from the pressure right and so i love this this uh these depictions of the empress and emperor and i feel like they go together very nicely so i don't know which ones of these if I was going to choose one, these were the two that are my go-to and I was really going to go with these two to go to sit out for the next 10 days. But I was like, ah, oh, do I really want to look at that? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm very, I'm, I'm still not sure. Right now I'm leaning towards Daenerys and Jon Snow, but we'll see. All right. My next set that I have here are couples that I feel like truly look like power couples. Like they didn't just get married, but they got married for the for the purpose of ruling the world, right? Like they've come together and they're like, okay, we're going to get together and we're going to do this thing. <laughs> like We're going to be, you know, this shit. We're going to work together. I'm going to do this part. You're going to do that part. And we're going to make this shit happen. And I love this from the um, Empress, the Empress and Emperor. This is the true black tarot this is the original edition that you can i think still get i i have the other one with the the silver foil but i think that one is out of print so i wanted to show this one um yes yes and yes also the non-binary look of this empress um intrigues me as well because they look like they could both be their bodies might be different from their faces or I don't know. It's almost as if the sexuality is not important here. What's important is the roles that they play and um, what they are cultivating and they match because one person is cultivating one half and the other person is cultivating the other half. And so together they have a stronghold on what is going on with their with their realm or with their rulership right i feel the same way about these two this is from the tarot of vampires i think these two are a power couple <laughs> and i think they might be nice to sit out for aries three because they're very fiery aren't they both of them even though she's surrounded in green she still feels very fiery it's probably all that blood on her mouth and I also feel the same way about these two. These are from the um, Temp Tempest, yeah, Tempest Tarot. This is from the Tempest. These are from the Tempest Tarot. They are ruling the same realm, 
but at different parts and they're staying in their places, but they also look like they could, they meet together at night to discuss the strategies, right? Like <laughs> he looks like he could easily go meet her where she is. And she looks like she could easily come see him where he is, right? Something about him almost looks like he could have fins or sprout fins. And something about her almost looks like she could leave this water and go sit with him on his boat or wherever he is very easily. So I like these two. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I love this. I love the Tempest Tarot. So I could definitely see myself looking at these. These are kind of coming up as a, I don't know. They're coming up on Daenerys and Jon Snow as favorites. I love my Tarot of Vampires. They've been in the box for a little bit now, but. I like these guys here. I like this. These two they look like they could kick some ass together, don't they? And of course, we always, always love our true black. All right. Moving on to my last set. Okay, so the last set of Empress and Emperor cards that I have here are cards that I feel like they aren't living in the same, they live in the same world. They may not be of the same class or you know living in the same house per se but they are work they look like they're working together to take over some shit you know what i mean like you know what i mean like if you know you know so let's start with <laughs> this is the the empress and the emperor from the radiant wilds tarot um this the these two look like they work together like I don't know. This reminds me of, I don't know if you guys ever saw that movie from the 80s. I think it was called Lady Hawk or something like that, where one of them at night turned into like a falcon. One of them turned into a falcon during the day and the other one a wolf at night or some shit. Like, I can't remember exactly how it went. But anyways, they worked together. They were, they loved each other and they worked together and they helped each other. But I might be remembering the movie wrong also because this was like, what, 30 years ago I saw it. But I remember it, it gives me that feel of where they could work together and they help each other, even though they may not, they don't mm, live in the same world or like Maleficent. That's a more recent movie. Maleficent and her and the person she turned into a, a bird. I think, yeah, a bird. So he worked with her. He, he was, he loved her. They worked together. They loved each other. They protected each other, even though they lived in different worlds and they had different abilities, but their abilities came together to be like, a powerhouse and that's kind of how i see these two this empress and this emperor and it's the same with this empress and emperor who are from a tinsel town tarot i mean what is a better powerhouse um you know working couple than the director and his bombshell starlet you know like i mean how many millions of billions of dollars were made from this collaboration <laughs> So, and they support each other and they, well, I don't know how, you know, we're not going to get into the politics of Hollywood here, but, <laughs> but, um, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like in theory, this would be, um, this would be a power couple. Right. And then the last one is Queen Elizabeth here and her pirate, um, who, who, her conquistador, who she sent off to conquer, um, she's sent off to conquer and colonize other people's lands <laughs> definitely working together and you know i mean what they did was fucked up but they did accomplish their missions right so um yeah so there's that so then that was from the tarot of pirates and those are my last two so of going through that because I didn't go through them. I just kind of pulled them out and was like, okay, my favorites so far, I think, are these two. Here, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. My favorites so far are our Starlet and her director to set out for the 10 days. You guys are going to have to help me choose. So vote below if you want to. Or our powerhouse, wonderful Empress and her bird companion here who she rules the land he rules the skies you know and they come together to um share ideas and take over the world in maleficent fashion or perhaps um ladyhawk fashion or whatever the name of that movie was in the 80s and then we have Jon snow 
and his empress, um, Daenerys Targaryen, I think was her last name. And I think that these two feel like almost two sides of the same person, right? And then we have our vampire and vamp press. I don't know. <laughs> what is the female version of a vampire? Is there even a word? I don't even know. But um, yeah, so I, I just like them. And I would like to look at them for the next 10 days. So we'll these any of these I would choose. I don't know. I can't decide. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, let me know below in the comments below which ones you would want to look at for the next 10 days. I guess I could switch them all out every couple of days, but nobody has time for that. So, <laughs> Which Empress Emperor cup is the most powerhouse of powerhouse couples in my collection? <laughs> now, I haven't gone through the whole collection, but of the ones I've shown here, which one do you think wins the powerhouse couple award? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm out. I'm gonna leave now. So if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. I release videos every couple of days regarding Tara and Oracle. This has been a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. Be blessed. Bye-bye.